Yeah, hold on. Hold on. Let me hold on, y'all. This has a lot. Hold on. This Kyla's a child. She a mess. And I don't believe Callie went back on baddies. Ugh. Thank you, Renata. I know the Lord got me. That's why I ain't trying to think about that child. You spell better than me. I know, baby. I'm getting your phone right now. And I'm about to cuss their asses out, too. And block their driveway. I didn't understand that. Please say a command. You can also say help for further assistance. Is that weird? I was talking to her too. You start talking to us. Handset not connected. You're not gonna look at me like I forgot this phone. be doing school hours because I don't know how to do the school shit, okay? Your mama barely got out of school. Now she Here. barely got out of school. First she was, uh, I thought she was, uh, Hold it. she was, she ranked high. I thought they was one and three. All right, y'all. My bad. Hell of a morning going on here and they done forgot my phone. Bro, then she gonna look at me crazy. She don't know I would have took this wig off and threw it across that goddamn counter like a goddamn kitty cat. Hey, daddy, you looking fly over there? <laughs> yeah, she tried to give me a scary face. Girl, I would have scared you with this whole fucking wig. Or she would have thought a bobcat was on her ass. I'd have got that. I can't wait to throw tech. I cannot wait to take my wig off and bop somebody with it. I cannot wait to take my wig off and throw it. Because you see, you probably won't go to jail for that. They'll probably put me in one of them crazy places for the weekend. <laughs> but I'll scare the hell out you with that wig coming at you. You know. This is my jam right here, Carter. What you know about this? This this music remind me when I used to be on my job and they used to have that music playing over and over all day. Give me the spelling words. How you gonna be spelling them with the with the words back there? That sound like you cheat. All right, give me the words. And what do B U T T O N spell? Button. See, that was good. I thought it was. I thought it meant like baton. You did good. Okay, what's the second word? L S L D. You okay, Junie? Yeah. Okay. L E S S. Mm -hmm. L E S S. 
Miss L E S S less. Uh-huh. Less what? Less. I thought the word was less sun. Yes, it was. It's less sun. Don't try to trick me. What's the rest of it? No, I don't. Okay, how you spell the rest of it? Less on. That should be this. easy, right? You should have been doing this huh? before he got to go take his spelling test. Spell less sun, Carla. Carter. Less on. You know how to spell on? Uh-huh. Okay, that's how I do it sometimes. If I can't spell it, I just put the words together. So you know how to spell on less, and then you put on on the end of it. Let's ping in the car. Good morning. Girl, yes, he had an emergency yesterday on the way home. <laughs> and we forgot to get the key out. And don't act, don't tell me y'all don't be on the freeway popping that cup out for them little boys, okay? Because I cannot be pulling over on no freeways. Out here in the country, a little snake might get my baby. This woman is on her having a positive moment with her grandkids and y'all trying to be messy. What happened? What I missed? What's messy? Cause you know I'm for the exactly, mess. Exactly, She definitely said the girl never the lady never tell. All right, we have the next word is collect. Don't accept no collect calls from nobody. That's a good sentence, right? Let's Uncle mm-hmm. Blue. Oh, oh, oh. Mhm. Act. Okay. You know, you know how not to accept them collect calls. Okay. Good job. We're going to pray before we leave out of here, Miss Beverly. We're going to pray and hear what we're Collect. The word was collect. <laughs> collect call. Collect some money. <laughs> Don't collect pass. Go. You know, collect. Callie should find her a regular job because she's not the star of baddies. Blue is a real star of the family. Oh, you're mad. You're mad that Callie made six figures this year, and you're mad that she's going to make it again next year. You're so mad that she's in a different tax bracket than you. But, you know, (laughs) that's between her and God, baby. You got to pray about that. You got to pray about that. You got to pray about that, baby. Cause she already got a major movie deal and <laughs> she gonna make six figures again next year so cheers <laughs> y'all thought i'm just thanking these paper people for a foot up for nothing she got a surprise coming for you i don't mean to put her business out there but baby you're gonna see more of kylie way next year <laughs> she got a 2020 a 2026 movie deal baby why Callie never with her son? Now, when has Callie never been with her son? She only go out of town on the weekends, so she always with her kids, except for on the weekends. And why she got to be with her kids when they got two mamas? Why she got to be with her kids when they got two mamas? I'm sorry your mama didn't pull up for you, baby. I see what you mean now, girl. They on here being messy. Why she got to have two mamas? Her son got 100% on spelling and math on Friday. They happy. They clean. They on their way to school on time. Lord have mercy, Jesus. We're going to be, might, hopefully we be on time. But, um, yeah, Callie don't have them kind of problems y'all got. She ain't going to never have them kind of problems because, you know, even though I might talk shit, cuss, kick, and fit. <laughs> Right, baddies is only 40 days of her life. Relax, everybody, relax. She got a new song coming too, y'all. She got a new song coming. Don't your mama got a new song coming? Mm -hmm. Shoot, I wish my mom would have helped me with my kids. Thank you, girl. Tell them, girl. Like, some people just ain't don't have them kind of problems. Like, you know what I'm saying? Some people's mamas love the grandkids as much as the kids. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. You call my dad right now, he got one of our kids. <laughs> and that's on period. 
my daddy got somebody's babies right now. I can tell you, he might have this one, that one, but he got somebody's babies right now. And we getting ready to meet my other grandson, my step grandson, Jarek's baby this weekend. Hopefully not, th if not this weekend, late as next weekend. So y'all getting ready to meet a new character on the show. Y'all getting ready to meet a funny character on the show. She got older. Um, Uncle Reek, you know Uncle Reek. Yeah, it's about to get real funny because y'all been talking about my kids and Mr. Staffo about to have a sit down with his kids because they ain't really talked in like a year, maybe a year and a half. So y'all about to see how he do his and how I did mine. You know what I'm saying? So stay tuned for Reek. I see some of y'all want to meet Reek Nasty. Love Tiff said, I love Callie. I know why they hating on Callie. She's so emotional right now because Gretchen, um, <laughs> Gretchen don't like her. Gretchen did something. I don't know what Gretchen did. And then she was mad because her team didn't stand behind her, and the other people thought it was Gretchen's security when it was Callie's security. How they mix up your security tells you where the lack thereof is. You know, but that's how family be, though, y'all. Family be so amazed at the celebrities that we take them around that they forget that we celebrities, too. And that's where the problem be. Like, if I was with Callie and, you know, her and Gretchen was having a moment, it just would have ended right there. It, we wouldn't have been no, I'm sorry. Wouldn't have been no, you know, you got to catch her on another day. Okay, it ain't going to be this day. It ain't going to be this weekend while I'm here, but back the fuck up and get the fuck around the corner because whatever you said or did, you shouldn't have said or did. And that's how your friends and your family is supposed to move about you. But then when they meet other celebrities, they be like, oh, she didn't mean it like that or, you know, making up all excuses. But if it's a nigga at Walmart or is your seatbelt on? Okay, then why are you sitting like that? Are you? Is there food in that bag? Yeah, you too big for that. Sit down right. But anyway, if family members, you know, if somebody cut up with us at Walmart, then they want to, you know, act like they security 101 and shit. Don't be in my auntie face. You know, she don't want to take a picture right now. She don't. You're like, what are you talking about? But let it be another celebrity, boy. They going to go to bat for him. Like, we need all the clout from her, too. Like, you don't need the clout from nobody. You just got to be patient. Everybody is experiencing it with their people because it's a learning experience and it's really hard. We couldn't figure out like how to move around with Blue at first, neither, because it's like you don't really know. Like, do you want these people in our face or you know what I'm saying? You don't really know. But I feel like, you know, I don't care if my people, if my girl in the right or the wrong, bitch, we're going to talk about it tomorrow and we ain't going to argue about no weirdos because we ain't going to never see them again. So it should never even get to the level that everybody's just mad because I'm not feeling what somebody said. If it pissed me off that bad, then it, it is what it is. And then other people don't realize, like, you riding with Callie, you rocking with Callie, you going places with Callie, you getting your name out there, you doing things with Callie, but you're not getting your ass beat with Callie. You wasn't out there for 40 days and 40 nights wondering, you know what I'm saying, if you was going to come back home with a black eye or – you know what I'm saying? A, a elbow hurting or a knee hurting. You just there for the ride. So I don't understand how it's all this rah rah that you be having with your team. Like that's why I tell everybody, you not out there, your integrity. Ain't nobody saying you a bad mother. That's why I had to tell Bree too. Like I'm out here on my shit on the line. Niggas think my breasts stink, and everybody knows that I go to the dentist with my husband's <laughs> quality PPO insurance. More than anybody I know. I ain't never had no, oh, my tooth hurt. I ain't never had no fucking, oh, I need to go to dentist. My tooth hurt never in my life, okay? My daddy was a, my daddy was in the military first, so I already know. I never had to go to dentist because I was in pain in my life. So, but I still have to walk around with people saying, her breath stink, her breath stink. You feel me? But she don't, she don't, Brie don't got to walk around with people thinking her breath stink. So don't think we on the same level. I'm out here putting my integrity my life on the line. I'm out here. Me and Tokyo could have gotten a full squabble. All you did was sit there and enjoy the show firsthand. Bree was on set with me. <laughs> Bree was sitting next to Lemmy watching me perform. Like you watching me work. You not gonna never. We not gonna never be equal. 
So I'm not about to be walking around on eggshells, how I talk to somebody, how if I'm if I'm having a mood swing today, bitch, they bitch just said my breast thing. Like if you can't back up and give me some space and understand that it's going to some emotions play a big part in this. I get on the Internet and I got to hear 50 people in here talking about how, how you can't see your grandkids when you get to go home and be with your kids and laugh and have a normal life. And, and you still reaping the benefits. You still building a fan base. You still being that girl. You still being, oh, you don't you that makeup artist. And you don't have to go through half the shit we got to go through. People thinking weird stuff about you saying weird stuff about you you just get to stand there you know and i took that picture with cardi b re-stepped up and took one too you getting the same benefits i'm getting but you're not having to go through none of the shit i'm going through in the streets at all you don't have to go to sleep you know sad and like god give me strength to be able to handle x y and z tomorrow you don't you just have to stand there and enjoy the day or the night so shut the fuck up if we in a mood or a moment you along for a free fucking ride and none of your integrity has to be uh investigated interrogated you don't have to be torn down you don't have to be you know looked down on you just get to go for the ride and automatically if a whole fan base don't like me they gonna like the other person that i'm feuding with in my family or in my circle or on my show you feel me so you just collecting a fan base just for free half the shit i'm creating for you to do and I don't get no credit for it. I'm not even looking for no credit. I'm just looking for you to be there and shut the fuck up and help me when I'm going through my motions. Don't be trying to go up against me like we equal. We're not. If we was equal, you wouldn't be here. And that's just what it is. And I just feel like people on Callie's team, that's why I told her, you'd be better off going to get some strangers pulling up, having people do your makeup for free. Y'all, did y'all see how good the people did Callie in Columbus? And in Canada, like they trying to get on. People respect like, oh, I need an opportunity. I want to, you know, I need people to see my work. Like stop trying to be loyal to motherfuckers that's not going to understand when you having a moment because your integrity's on the line. Now you done let a bitch call niggas, niggas all year long. You done let the bitch call you a nigga all year long and, and then took some blows for a bitch that's caught yelling at the niggas, all this, doing all this. And then she want to say, you fake? Bitch, was I fake when I was taking one to the nose for you? No, I was real. That was re a real life hit that you should have took, that I took for you. I really went out there and did work for you. And I don't even know you like that. I just know that, you know, we prayed together. We hung together. We chilled together. So I felt responsible for, you know, making sure you made it home safe. Now I can't get the same return because you still need, you know what I'm saying? You not you you still need to go up or something, so you're gonna use me. That's cool, but let me know you're gonna do it. And then for your whole team to be riding with it, I don't care if you got pissy drunk and mad as fuck. Your team's supposed to be like calm you down, hold you down, put you in the car, make sure you don't get in trouble, make sure you don't go to jail. And then we get in the car and be like, bitch, you was tripping. Not like, oh, I can't wait to go live and tell everybody about you and how you are like girl you know it's another makeup artist out here another security guard out here that's ready and waiting to get to get his emotion going you don't even know what to do with the motion you're not even branding yourself you're not even trying to do x y and z you're just trying to be here and wait for me to fuck up so you could go live on talking shit to me no that's not how this works you don't see nobody else moving like that. You don't you don't see that's not how it works. That make people don't want to do shit else for you. And it's already people out here in our DMs every single day talking about, can I do your makeup? Can I do your hair? Can I do this? Can I do that? So I don't know where I went with that vent, but I just I understand. I tried to tell Callie, like, <laughs> bitch, just do just bless somebody else because that what you going through you ain't got to go through that give a fuck if it's family or whoever sorry <laughs> oh i'm prepared i went i had brief pull up the paperwork for you know anybody that say something jiggy I'm, i want some money if you from now on you gonna say something crazy whether it's true or false, if you're going to say something, bitch, you're going to give me some money for it. If you're going to collect a fan base and, and speak your mind to the public about me, 
anything that you see, say, or hear that I'm not ready to put out or I'm not ready to brand for myself, you're going to pay for it. I'm going to send you an NDA and that whatever check you get, I don't give a fuck if it's your welfare check. I'm going to get some of it too. And that's just what it is. Thank you, motherfuckers, messy as fuck. Yeah, I mean, and this, I mean, I get it. I trolled my way to the top, and I, but I, you cannot, never, ever, ever, never, ever say I said nothing bad about my son. I did an interview with Tasha K right after my black eye, right after Callie got, you know, Molly whopped by four dudes and then his girlfriend. We did not go on there and badmouth blue. We did not go on there and tell y'all none of his personal private business that we could have fucked him all the way over and the and the, all the kitty cats behind him. But did we go on there and say anything about any one of them personally? No, we stayed on the surface of the stuff that y'all was already saying, that y'all was already talking about on the internet and our own personal feelings. We didn't go on there and never say, fuck my son, he he did this, he did that. I was I was accountable for everything I did. First of all, I could have been, I could have been a ruthless person and said I ain't throw shit and have both of them locked up with my eye bleeding on the floor. Am I that type of person? No, because I really could have did that shit that whole day. Nope, I didn't do that. I said, you know what? She got me out of my character. They got me out of my character by talking to me like we was equals and I'm his mama. And I ain't never seen no shit like that as long as I've been living. Okay? Now, Dre might be a fuck up, but if you talk crazy to me in front of him, he probably gonna, he probably, it's probably gonna be a, not a good day for all of us. Okay? I'm gonna need bail money and you're gonna need an eye socket. So, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't used to that. Callie and Dre don't just let people talk crazy to me. I don't care if we in Walmart, Target. And John has never, ever done that either. So, you know, and I didn't know they was drunk. I didn't know they was on the Hennessy or I wouldn't even been arguing with them. Like, you know, my husband seen the bottle after the whole shit was over. Like, they done drunk a whole bottle of Hennessy. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't know. I just know you not. They never talked to me like that and not never allowed nobody to talk to me like that. So I was out of character. Because I'm telling you, if that would have been um, Jaden, yes, I would have popped her. But she would have just looked at John and they would have looked at each other and walked away because I done popped both of them before. Trust and believe I done popped both of them before. But they my kids. That's a little different. I get it. I understand what y'all saying now. Ain't nobody mama finna put her hands on me. I get it. If my mama-in-law said something to me, I act like she didn't say it. Because my mama-in-law just said some slick shit to me. I didn't respond. I didn't say nothing back, even though I want to. I look at my husband. He don't say nothing like, okay, we scared of her. Okay, cool. So I didn't, I was out of character. And I get that. But that's, you know, just what it is and where it is. But y'all ain't never heard us, me get on there and talk bad about Krishan. I might vent or complain about the situation, but you ain't never heard me get on there and say some shit that I could say. Because y'all be in here saying some stuff. And I could get in there and say some stuff too. But I don't. I keep it on the surface, you know, disrespectful ass kids, how I would my own kids. I don't talk about none of they, you know, all of this and you ain't paying me and like, what the fuck? Like, I'm never going to pay you. You're always going to be a lame in my life. And I don't care if you is here. You just don't be, be here for no reason. I know how to, I learned how to fake act like I like people with this industry shit. Before, I didn't know how to do that. Now I'll be like, hey, girl, how you doing? Can you put that makeup on my face real quick? <laughs> Tisha, Tisha, you got to go. You got to go. My son and Rock and Jaden and Callie is a big part of my life right now. I'm always going to bring up what's going on in my life. Okay. If you don't like it, you should have took her down the road when I told you to. Now get the fuck off my page and don't come back. Go on over there on somebody else's page. Okay. Don't come over here trying to tell me who and what and when I could talk about. Okay, if I get a hair up my ass and I'm feeling some type of way, I'm in my emotions and I bring up somebody, I'm going to continue to bring them up as long as they in my family. Now, if they don't want me to talk about them, they shouldn't have got in this fucking family. They knew who, what, would it, what it was and who I was before they even got thought about having kids in this family. Now, get off my page, little girl. 
Get your uh, little funny looking ass off my page and don't come back. Don't come back here with no fake page either. I don't want you here trying to dictate what I talk about. Did you not hear Krishan Rock pray for me yesterday? Okay. Did she pray for you? Did she ask God anything about you? Did she bring up her fans? No, she fucking didn't. I was on that prayer list. I didn't hear you that day saying, don't pray for her. She don't like you. I didn't hear you saying nothing. Get off my page. Because I show was a part of a clout prayer a whole fucking day. Now leave me alone before I get mad. Y'all tell me where that Tisha lady went because I don't see her no more to block her. I'm going to get on here trying to dictate who and what I can bring up. I'm going to bring up whoever the fuck I want to. This my page. When you over there on your little raggedy page where don't nobody know you over there and don't nobody get on your live, I don't say nothing about that one person that's listening to you um, twerk and show your little booty me. Do I say anything? No. I don't even know you up over there. So don't come over here trying to tell me. I don't mind y'all talking about it or having an opinion about it, but don't come over here trying to tell me who and what and when I can talk about. Okay, if they my sons, my daughters, or one of my grandkids, baby mamas, and I feel some type of way, I'm sorry. I'm going to be on here saying how I feel. If you don't like it, go on over there where your mama at. Okay, go on over there where your mama at. Oh, get on him. And you said you're going to talk about Krishan. Did it? Was I just not in a prayer for the whole fucking universe to see? Okay, then now that means she gave me permission. She ain't give you permission. She ain't say, and and bless you, my fan. She said, my, my extended family, okay? Her extended family. Now, don't get on here pissing me off this morning. It ain't that type of morning. Hey, girl. Yeah, they pissing me off again. I'm not saying she did it for clout. Y'all said she did it for clout. You see what I'm saying? Y'all be 50-50 on this board. Y'all send me the message. She using you for clout. She She's saying a prayer for clout. She doing this. Y'all told me that. I'm going by what y'all said. I didn't even I didn't even pay it to take it no type of way. I said I appreciated the nice gesture. I did say that. Yes, babe. Carter, did he eat all his oatmeal? Can you please check and see so he don't you don't get all over him for school? Okay, can you take it away from him and put it on top of the, the middle thing right here? Thank you. Where the water is at? I don't know what kind of prayer it was. I just, I have not, I, I know that DJ Scott probably told her Carlissa did send the baby something for his birthday. Maybe we should let her say happy birthday on the phone i have not got to facetime or say no happy birthday or nothing so before i feel like before somebody starts doing public prayers they should do private ones first that's all now i, I said I, now I said i appreciate the nice gesture and i did take into acceptance that she called us her extended family what saying if you if your heart is he in a given place you privately for we all should have got to say hi to junior for his birthday, birthday. like about to be his next birthday we still ain't got to say nothing i don't care how y'all take it oh i that's not my concern my concern is my grandkids so I don't, I'm not about to sit here and act like I'm happy about it because somebody said a prayer for me and I still have not got to say hi to him, hello, goo goo gaga, nothing. No, I'm not 
fixing to be over here satisfied with just anything because y'all say be satisfied. No, no, ma'am. I said it was a nice gesture and it was a great start. And half of y'all said it was real and half of y'all said it was for clout. Only, only way I'm going to find out is if, if, is if I get to talk to my grandkids. How you feel not talking to your grandkids? How you how you feel? It's been four four months since I even got to just glance at him at the courthouse. Did you see how Timberland was inspired? Yes, I said it was a beautiful song. I said it was very heartfelt. I, if you go on the shade room, I always leave how I feel. If somebody feels a certain way about their kids, I let them know. That's how I feel about mine too. Now you see why. You know, I've been the way I've been moving, the way I've been moving this whole time. My son is in jail. So imagine, you know what I'm saying, how I feel when I try to prevent all of this. So naturally, if you feel some type of way about your son, I've been, I, people have been questioning whether I love my kids or I want to sleep with my kids this entire time. You see what I'm saying? So when I see somebody feeling a certain way about their kid, I feel that. I know what you feel like. I know what it feels like when people say, oh, you loving your kid for clout. You taking your kids um, to church for clout or you because uh, I took my kids to church every Sunday <laughs> and I, I, I didn't even know I was posting it on Facebook. I didn't even know it could be for clout. I just was happy to have my kids, you know, in the church service. I didn't know, know nothing about clout at the time, but y'all done got on here and said something about my motherhood and. Now somebody else going through it. I see how you feel. Now you see how I feel. And it's people that know I love my kids that could have addressed that to y'all a long time ago. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, this lady was in the restaurant damn near for free. 10 hours a day for her son. She moved down here to California to help her son. I didn't move down here because I wanted to. Then Mr. Sappho was up there um, doing our little private time. Having our little private life. I done done so much for my kids and to, for it to be a rumor and people just letting it go around and around and around that, oh, she ain't no type of mother. I mean, I understand. I feel how she feels. So I love the song. He didn't even, Timberland didn't have to put nothing on that song for me to love and feel that song. I felt the song before, you know, it got more clout on it. And real mothers felt that song with or without Timberland. So if you love your kids, you felt that before he even got on there. And I got on there and said that. Felt every word of it. I know what it is for people to think you don't love your kids and, and test your motherhood so bad that they talk about you want to be with your son. I've been there. I know, honey. I know exactly how she feel. And it's the most hurting, painful thing when you sacrifice your whole life from conception in the womb to birthing each one of the kids for somebody to say, you don't love your kids, you use your kids, you want to do this to your kids. What you mean by DJ Sky wasn't there? Um behind me during the prayer. I don't know what you're talking about. I just know that I was the only person that I felt like was a neutral person that really gave a fuck about my grandson and the and and, and his concerns. And, and I do believe chastity as well. Uh, and and y'all turned that to turned her upside down so bad that <laughs> I don't know how y'all people let y'all do this to their family members. Like I'll never let you say nothing about Where you going? That was it right there. I'll never let you say nothing about how one of my family members give a fuck about me. Like, how would you know? You don't know them in real life. You don't know these people in real life. And y'all dictating how people's family, making them not even want to reconcile. Want to, making people's family members more mad at each other than they have to be. Like, I would never let you <laughs> dictate how one of my kids, anybody feel about me. I don't give a fuck what they said. I know them in real life. I know what they've been doing before before all this.
Y'all talking about a public prayer. I, pl I pray for the baby and Krishan in private. Fuck about you joining into the ring their games. I do this shit in private. I handle my business in private. To the Lord, not to y'all, not for y'all. We've been through many stages, hurt, <coughs> anger. We've been through a lot of stages. You got cut, okay? I wasn't finna cut. Last time you did. No, I didn't. Oh, they told you I couldn't cut? Uh, huh? Yeah. No, they didn't. Stop yes, lying. Did. I did not cut. Yes, you did at the back, yes. Absolutely did not cut. Yes, you did. You Which did way you want me to go to the back, right? Yeah. All right, I got to go. I'll call y'all back when I'm by myself so I can cuss somebody out. I hope it's me because y'all see I was on Carlissa because no, you're not going to do that, uh, Lissa, Lissa. No, Lissa. Lissa, you're not going to act like that, Lissa. Uh-uh. So, yeah, honey. Y'all see. <laughs> Where we at, y'all? Let, let us talk about Miss Car Alyssa. Look, y'all know. Mm. Um. Auntie Bev, we're going to pray for your niece in a minute. Yeah, she's going to say clout prayer. That's what she's going to call it. Talking about some, how ungrateful she is when you've been lifted up in prayer. Can't nobody tell me that Carlos is saying. She not. But see, that's what she says. See, people think, you know, we'll talk about her. That's all. Auntie Bev, that's you. Yeah. Funny how she was the prayer word for word, though. Exactly. She is delusional. <laughs> you already see the extent. You, did she call you her extended family? Did she call you her extended family? <laughs> yes, she a mess. Yes, she's very ungrateful and so is sad. I don't think that she saved at all. That would be a great start to finish the same time for me. Okay. It is very deceiving. Very deceiving. Didn't Carlos just say something bad about Jimmy in the video and you want to see the baby and you talk about her son and you want to try to bring the baby to see you? Yeah, right. And my thing is this. You had an opportunity. You had an opportunity, my girl. Ain't that what, my girl? You had an opportunity, my girl. To show what you was made of, even if she, you should. I don't care what. I don't care if she was left. If he, she was. He was left with with his best friend. I don't care who he was left with. While he's in my presence, I'm gonna debo my grandbaby. Give my grandbaby. Give my grandbaby. Let me change him. Let me play with him. Oh, she going to give me my grandbaby. I'll deal with her later. Because you know what? She would have seen in you something. She would have been like, damn, she stepped up for my baby. She really loves him. She really adores him. Do you understand? That was the time where you could have switched your whole image around. That was what God was giving you a time at that point to change the whole trajectory of who you are. And what did you do? You failed the test, my girl. Carlista, you failed that test, my girl. You failed it. Come on, I wouldn't have wanted nobody to tell. I ain't never heard no shit like that at baby. I don't care if I don't like you. That's my grandbaby. You don't know. You ain't. You let two strangers go in the bathroom with your grandbaby. Two strangers. And that's your grandbaby. Make that shit make sense. Because it ain't making sense to me. It ain't making sense to me. You can, that's why I told her, 
You had an opportunity. You see me? I was type, baby. I be typing the colors check. I don't see. And she be like, I'm about. Oh, I hope she thinks she could a baby. Because I'm gonna be like, Carlissa, let me hit that link, boo boo. Drop the link, ma. I tell Carlissa drop that link. Because I tell you, you wrong. The way don't work, Lord God. So many calls yesterday. So many. This whatever. I'm not complaining. I thank you for. All all of it, oh God. May the Lord continue to bless the reading of his word. 